The 20 watt LED above my bench finally gave out and started, uh, the second strip went out and then they started flashing off and flickering backwards and forwards and it was a bit of a disco. So I have some replacement LEDs in their way but in the meantime, here's an entire, oh, I'll pick this up, one in 100 watt LED floodlight. So um, let's uh, check the power out for a start. I'm not a big fan of running things like uh, LEDs at 100 watts because I just don't believe that they can dissipate that much heat. I'll show you the back of this case, in fact. And you think, can that really reliably dissipate 100 watts of heat? And I'm not convinced about that. Uh, I think these LEDs are going to get quite hot. It's interesting to note that I can actually see a gap. There is a sort of bridge between the ballast here Although it's all one big cast um, and it's got the heatsink fins are common, there does seem to be a gap between the body of the light and the ballast section. So I'm going to, uh, I've got this already hooked up. It does have an earth connection, which is good. I'm going to put the power meter here. I'm going to cover the light actually because it's going to be quite bright. And I'm going to plug it in and we'll see what our 100 watt LED floodlight is clocking in at. It's clocking in at 66 watts and wavering about between 65 to say 66 watts. Okay, that's not 100 watts, but that's okay. It's still quite a bright light. So let's uh, explore it internally. In a way I'm glad it's uh, only running at 60 uh, or so watts because uh, it means the LED is more likely not to be fried. So I'll just disconnect that. And let's start with the ballast. I've not seen a 100 watt ballast yet in the flesh, so a 100 watt driver. So uh, this should be quite interesting. I wonder if it's a bare circuit board module. Or if it's the sort of, uh, silicon potted one. So the lid on the driver unit is on the front. Oh, it's two. Are they just wired in parallel? Yes. Can they do that? They must. Oh, they, they put out smooth DC and it's current limited. So yes, they can just wire them in parallel. If they are wired in parallel, we'll find out when we take that side off. The earth wire uh, is stuffed up the gland. That's not very good. That's not what I'd class as a good electrical connection. Having said that, there's nothing really in here to actually screw anything onto. It's just an empty void. Okay, let's uh, take the, the other cover off. That's quite novel. Now, the 66 watt rating, I wonder if they're actually 30 watt drivers. They've got two of them in parallel. I get the feeling there's not going to be much of a surprise in here, but I'm kind of intrigued to see where those uh, two pairs of wires are going, if they're just common together on one LED, or if it's somehow divided into two sections. But I don't think it will be. This is the super luxury model because it does have four screws. Uh, it's got one in each corner of the reflector. Just drop these screws in here. Okay, they are just paralleled. Wet silicon, or is it? Oh, yes, it is. It's going to be silicon. Okay, yeah, so um, lots of silicon uh, to couple it to the back. I see this as a this actually allows for it allows for um, three LEDs to be fitted. I wonder if they, they may make this in a 
100 watt, 200 watt and 300 watt version or maybe that it's for 50 watt LEDs they certainly wouldn't dissipate that amount of heat I also see other fixing points that would allude to maybe a lens mounting system for making a, a, a more directional light okay I'm kind of intrigued as to see what waters these are I wonder if they'll come off easily if I get anything I can crowbar these off with that I've got a chisel, that, that's not a chisel, a, a file, that's probably not a good idea let's see if I can just snap the file oh these are pretty secure I think oh I've actually just made a hole through the side of the case, that's a bit unfortunate not to worry, it's never really going to see outside just anyway no, they're absolutely glued down solid, but I'm guessing that these are probably just 30 watt drivers. Yeah, it's, it's odd that there's no, no no fixings or anything in the back of this. They've not allowed anything at all. It's strange. It's kind of slightly cheap and nasty, actually. With, uh, a bit of uh, moulding flash in there. And it's quite thin aluminium because um, certainly I've just poked a hole through the side of it with a file. Yeah, interesting. It didn't cost a huge amount. It cost about £25, which is about, oh, what's that in dollars? That, in American dollars, that's about uh, just under $40. So uh, it's interesting enough, but um, yeah, I'm trying to think of other things I could do with this. I'm thinking batteries in here, solar panels in here. Yeah, it's got other uses for sort of outdoor applications. Yeah, interesting, but uh, the only th thing this is going to be able to find 100 watts of is disappointment, to be honest. Other than that, it's quite an interesting light and it's good to see in one. I was going to buy one inevitably. Um, also, look at the way these wires are just they're quite tight where they go through this. Um, they, I could, that's probably that little flake of red was, was probably some of the insulation off the wires where they'd been fed through. Yeah, interesting enough, worth taking to bits.